All right, let's do a shrink rip of Panzer uh, tanks. You know the the Rhine expansion, and, and see what's in here. And I know a lot of you don't like these shrink rips, but I'm I'm excited to see the game and uh, give my first reactions to it. And I've really enjoyed playing Panzer particularly opposed. It's been very engaging playing and opposed on the vassal module, although I, I don't know why they changed that vassal module and took away all the little animations. It was so cool. But that's that's someone's choice there. There you go. Um, okay, of course, Drive on the Rhine. Uh, it's going to have all of the different formations for the US in this particular one. Yeah, it looks like we've got your Tank battalions, tank destroyer battalions, cavalry recon, uh, automatic weapons battalions, airborne engineering battalions, infantry, British infantry divisions, uh, British armor brigades, lorried infantry brigades. I haven't heard the word lorry for a long time. All sorts of uh, airborne and land based units with the typical. Uh, wonderful explanations and diagrams to help you understand and create your own scenarios should you wish to do that. I really enjoy these. I, I Sometimes I'll just grab the East Front ones uh, out and have a look at them when I'm reading a book about the East Front and try to imagine what you know what the composition of the various forces were. So of course this goes on and on, lots of, lots of detail in this and this is all very I uh, just value added uh, content for, for this and it's a, it's a very substantial document. It also has the, some of the German, obviously the German forces that are here. Uh, and you'll need the German module, I believe, to play this. Maybe you, maybe you won't, but I'm pretty sure you will. Okay, so we've got a big uh, Ziploc bag for all of the, for the cards and we'll get to that in a second. The maps are, thank goodness, okay, so the maps are not that stiff stock, they are now, they have now moved to a paper map, but they are indeed still the long skinny guys, let me step that back for you, you can see those, and they're dual side, dual printed, they're very, very nice, let's see what sort of terrain we've got here. Villages, ponds, pools, ponds, ponds would be good for you. Bocage, or bocage, as we like to say. More ponds, water features, orchards, which of course are the same in. Uh, some high terrain. And one of the things that with these maps is this color of clear terrain, while I'm not sure that you could use a different, I don't know what color you would use differently, but this seems to me to harken back to an Eastern Front color theme. Uh, I would expect a different tone on, on these maps. That's just a, a, a brief first point reaction. Uh, some of these maps look like East Front maps to me. Obviously the ones with the Bacage don't. Uh, but very nice anyway. Nice looking maps. Do you want to have a look at the counters? Let's look at the counters. And these are also in a baggie. Oh, that's nice. So of course they've got the Germans on top. Five counter sheets based on what I'm seeing. This is another step in the right direction for protecting the valuable aspects, or the maps weren't in a baggie, the valuable aspects of the game from damage if they were to be damaged by water. Here's some British units. Shermans, Wolverines, Humbers, Cromwells. Churchills over here. We played a scenario with those, with the Russians having some Churchills, pretty devastating units, very hard to kill. U.S. forces, and these look, uh, these are really well cut on the die too, uh, 
So we've got some different aircraft in here. Uh, yeah, these are going to come out real nicely. See, they feel about the same thickness as the other ones. M1, A, uh, M4A ones. All the goodies right there. I am. Yeah, you know, this is probably going too long, but anyway, I wanted to I wanted to give you a feel for it. More truck. We've got some trucks and things there. Information counters and squads. Some paratroopers. Some British chaps on the move. Machine guns. A couple of German guys. So I think you're clearly going to need the German, uh, the, the the original uh, edition of the game, which is now out of print, and I'm sure that I'll be popping back onto uh, the print list pretty quickly. Got some tigers in here. Matatus, elephants. Naswans. I don't recall seeing Naswans in the other modules. Uh, I think we saw those. No, maybe not. I don't know. I, you know, I've only played a handful. I've only played five or six times, but uh, I had enough fun with it. Now I'll say, well, you know, not changing my mind on the on the sequence of play and the initiative system. I still don't like it. Uh, not even the advanced version of it. I do my own uh, version of that, and I'll have to relook at the rules to remember exactly. Well, that's the side disadvantage of using your phone for video, right? Someone calls you and it shuts it off automatically. So I'm not sure where we got to, but I think I was talking about initiative systems. And then I was going to talk to you and we'll skip any complaints I have about that. And we will just move on to the playbook. So this is the playbook, which includes a uh, set of rules and historical notes here on how we uh, manage all the unique uh, unit types including airborne operations and we also have uh, you know dealing with package and things like that and then we have the scenarios so there's uh, two four six yeah, so there's a bunch of scenarios there's enough here to keep you keep you busy uh, Charts for drops. Let's have a quick look going backwards. This is just uh, all the different forces that are involved. Then we've got the scenarios with the unit insignias and icons. So I think this will be kind of cool. I'm going to try and get something on the table fairly quickly with this uh, third armoured. Yes, this looks pretty interesting. Yeah, there's, some, there's a bunch of scenarios in here. This is going to be cool. Alright, there you have it. There's only uh, five or six pages of rules, additional rules, so... I don't know if you want to see the cards, but we will uh, we'll, we'll look at them some other time if we need to uh, and get into the details once we start playing the game. I'll talk to you soon.